So we're going to go into questions. And one of the questions that I saw come up was about software and processing. And we mm -hmm. mentioned the flight software making the process very easy. You make yeah. your, you know, you draw a polygon or whatever around the space you want to fly and you hit play, basically. But when the Wingtra comes down and you want to put that data into something, does Wingtra provide a data processing platform or is this all done uh, with a third party uh, software? Yeah, so we really like to say we're software agnostic. I think you know how I mentioned that there's different tools for different jobs uh, when it comes to drones. It's the same for you know software. There's cert if you're in like mining, construction, like propellers, like fantastic with agriculture. You know, there's aerobatics and like picks 4D fields. Uh, you know, you're doing 3D stuff. There's Bentley context capture, uh, Esri. Like, there's so many different softwares that you know like i said we're a data capture solution and we're software agnostic so i think it's we could help lead you to different uh platforms for example uh we had some interest in doing some california shoreline mapping so i reached out to our hawaii one of our uh you know friends in hawaii they're like hey what's your suite of software that you're using so they're able to you know make suggestions based on what they've done and then we can you know pass that along so we're kind of creating this uh environment of like participation and collaboration and mm -hmm. as for software you know we're the best at you know data capture and we know the best in software and we can help point you in the right way Got, and so as a follow-up to that, someone asked the question about basically the, the payload that you would use for capturing things. And I'm just going to read this question verbatim. Uh, with 3D model camera, would you also need to fly a separate mission with a traditionally mounted camera to get a quality, accurate ortho photo and elevation model? So basically, do you see uh, you know professionals using your stuff, switching cameras and getting a secondary uh, take of the mission, or can you get it all with one of the payloads when you're doing 3D modeling? Well, it is the same camera. So I guess they're talking about the position of the camera. No, they should be able to do it with the oblique camera. Like if, if they're trying to get a more accurate then they might go with the 42 megapixel, like instead of the 24 at an oblique angle. Okay. Um, another question is whether Wingtra is ready for part 107's beyond line of sight rules. So I guess because a VTOL and, and uh, long duration, long distance craft is, is ready made for beyond visual line of sight, how is Wingtra participating in getting ready for allowing more people to use the technology VV loss. So all so all of our drones are remote ID ready. So I believe all drones by next September, I believe, have to have some version of remote ID. So all of our drones are remote ID ready, which means it's just kind of a software install. So we do have like something that could broadcast on the the wing at the moment which just if not enabled and so once uh that remote id is put in place we just can turn that on so that will allow us to kind of get to that uh bv loss perfect uh so that i mean there's not any other questions that are on the list i'm going to sit tight for a few seconds and see if there's anything else if you have questions now's the time to ask we got chris here uh and we're here to help so i'll leave it open for a few minutes but chris i do want to say Thank you for coming and, and bringing your expertise and your knowledge about Wingtra uh, to this presentation. I think that in the in the world of drones, there's places to get uh, get information. Generally, it's a lot of spec sheet stuff and and not so much like anecdotal, conversational. And I appreciate you being willing to kind of take things as they come, uh, whether questions from me or questions from the crowd. But it looks like we have dried up on questions, so. Uh, Anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up, Chris? One thing I would just like to point out is, you know, when I, during the pandemic times, like we all had difficult, you know, employment and the world seemed kind of like bleak. And what was really important to me was to find a company that, you know, had a fantastic product and genuinely cared 
about both its users and its employees. And, you know, I can't stress enough, like how much Wingtra, you know, cares about its employees, its end users. And because of that caring, you know, the employees try hard to make solve the problems of the end users, the customer support tries hard, you know, we are extremely open to, you know, commentary and, or suggestions we have. You can go in like candy and make suggestions on, hey, we we like this. And with when people go on that and they upvote different uh, suggestions, like that goes directly to our product team, which, you know, then will go into the roadmap. So all of our, you know, progress, uh, you know, innovations and stuff like that are driven by what, you know, our end users need. So it's not us sitting in a, like a shell thinking, I think this would be good. <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's directly from our end users saying, hey, we want this. And we have a team of incredibly smart people back in Zurich that are just knocking this stuff out. Right. And I will say to that, that voice of customer is one of the most important things for a manufacturer, me being a part of one for a long time. So if you have watched this presentation or been following Wingtro for a while, or if you have a problem that you're trying to solve and you're not sure whether this does solve that problem, feel free to reach out to myself, Randall at EnterpriseUAS.com or Chris.Kenny at Wingtro.com and, and let us know the things you're trying to accomplish because that's the way that we progress, that's the way we learn, and that's also the way that technology improves is, is through that voice of customer. Would you, uh, would you echo that, Chris? Yeah, well, 100%. Perfect. Well, again, thank you for your time. Thank you for everyone that... Uh, was here and, and uh, allowed us to give you more information about the Wingtra product. I hope to be seeing more of you soon. And Chris, obviously you and I will be working closely together. Uh, so it's good to get this out of the way and more to come. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Randall. All right, brother. Take care. See you later, guys.